Hello everybody, I'm still Mike the Man and I want to talk about what matters, what matters in life and I am still figuring this out like all of you, you know, because I feel that, you know, we are such adrenaline driven people that we have all experienced ourselves in moments where we surprised ourselves, where when we are at our best, we are like way above the rest of the time. And is that something that we will ever be able to use for good purposes? Because Sam, many of you have said to me, I'm at my best under pressure. When you're under pressure and all of a sudden you just rise above everything completely mind over matter if you will where other people give up where other people back off but something draws you to the action it's almost like you were born for this it's almost like your life gotten you ready for this and it's also often the feeling that all of the stars align and you suddenly are in your element it's like a calling i have to handle this right now and that's why we often assume leadership positions it's not even trying to become leaders but there's something about us that just uh gets us promoted that gets us to or gets others to see you know the the people who look at us for example, it's different how maybe co-workers will look at you because they may feel you have something that they don't and be jealous. But the supervisor is usually a different story where you may wind up getting promoted and everybody else will just try to uh, feel like you don't deserve it because they do. So these imbalances you may have experienced many, many times in your life. And the question is, how can we find a consistency that makes us happy? Because the world is full of people waiting to attack or take advantage. And how is it going to benefit us when we are, you know, giving everybody else energy and wind up drained? So the thing that I really want when I'm doing my videos is, you know, I have unloaded enough, you know, it's really time to look for solutions. Like what have you been doing in your life in the last few months that was done based on either learning from other RH negative people? Or, you know, I, I talked to one of you, you know, recently, and I'm not naming any more names for about where I said, you know, it's your comments that trigger a lot of my videos. You know, you may not realize it, but it's, it doesn't matter how many people are around you. All of a sudden you read one comment and it makes all of the difference. And at that moment, you're like, wow, if this one person likes my video, and that's a really good feeling to have, actually, when you say, now I really don't care. Now I'm going to say even more of what I wanted to say. But, you know, we all know in this day and age, uh, you know, I love how people back then always said, Oh, nobody can censor me. Nobody can. Nobody can. You know, and those were always the first people to run away. That's the thing that I've learned. So I'm making my videos for me and the people who I believe are in a similar situation. You know, and it wasn't until I had the comments open that I became interested in making videos again a year ago when it was, you know, when I thought, hmm. Because I've forgotten to take, you know, I, 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 I don't know when it was, seven years ago or so that I, I made it, I said it that my videos 
all had commenting off all the upcoming ones and uh, all of a sudden I, and I realized there were like three or four videos I forgot to change the settings and I looked by accident at the comments and some of you said well I finally found a video where I can comment and I realized oh my god the comments are amazing not all of them but it overshadows the bad ones you know what I mean not the amount of good comments but the significance of what's being said meaning that something was being said that I don't hear usually something and by triggering I mean where maybe I trigger you when I say something where you say oh my god I felt like this but I never talked about this or heard somebody talk about it. all of a sudden you also are energized to reveal something about yourself and then it comes back to me where I say oh my gosh yes absolutely and I have another and so I, I just figured you know I spent so much time talking online and writing and I'm really through with that so I prefer to just make a video because let me be the voice in terms of uh, expressing what I believe I have in common with you and I'm sure if we all live together on an island sort of isolated from the rest of the world we're meaning we don't get sidetracked um, it would be the norm all of the things that you would think oh if people know it or if they hear me talk like this they will think I'm crazy it would be that talk would be the norm it would be extremely liberating I have not been around many RH negative people offline in the last couple of years at all so it makes a huge impact for me when somebody actually I'm even if you're far away from each other um, it reminds you also of uh, how significant some people have been that you, you used to be around all the time and they did not um, elevate themselves but you realize wow you know that where the those were the people that I really um, you see I grew up and said I thought you can never be yourself and I saw people who just were to a degree and it was always unusual for me to be in the company of somebody who was the way that I was sort of raised not to be you know what I mean until I noticed that looking back you know looking back because of this pandemic it was like a standstill okay now close the gates lock the gates and reflect and the crazy synchronicities have been kicking in something happened like where today where you know it's too specific to get into but it's sort of like where a hurdle that I had to overcome due to my own mistake was already taken care of by a change that already had been in the making and I'm telling myself now you need to calm down man calm down and just be and be cool don't stress over nothing you know which I have done my whole life and I always felt like if I don't do it everything will fall apart around me so now I feel like it's sort of on my turn and life has to be on my turn because I've tried other people's terms and I realized that they did not work in general and 
while you gotta be humble and recognize the energy of the world that we have to go with and not go against is sort of on, on our side and combined with who you are and you listening to this energy things are gonna be okay <laughs>